I love these baby sticks. Oh, so, so these cute. are, so what, to the point of the fills are so, we were like, we did this actually for a holiday, a Christmas launch. They completely so sold like out already. Set of yeah. Minis. They're called the A-Team. So this is all like our top sellers. Like, uh, do I sound really American? Like, uh, <laughs> um, that is. Oh, I oh, love the that. Glitter. Oh, this was the one we did with the LGBT <gasps> center here. I love that. Because if you've seen our castings, it's all extremely, um, you know, we're very inclusive and we love to work with the LGBT center here. So we did this glitter stick for pride with them and um, all the, the proceeds went to the LGBT, but this is bonkers. I love that. So it did so well that now we're gonna create it. I love that, well. yeah, you should do that. Um, and then, the, you know, the skincare as well comes in the sticks. So you've got, oh, this is a fun one. So what's the base? Cause it feels quite moist. So what's the carrier? We've got um, this, these ones are all, there's no silicone, no dimethicone, but we do have, it's called Milk Melt Technology. Get to the bottom of that, because I can't. <laughs> but they do have, so everything melts on contact with the skin, so it actually sinks in rather than just sits on the skin, which so is... So it simple. melts at body temperature. Body temperature, yeah. exactly. I'm going to wipe this off before we start again. So that was, you know, this Milk Melt Technology was something we coined early on, but it's something that... It's great on all skin tones as well, even older skin. I think people are really scared of, you know, they powder up, but sometimes that is even more drying and, and you know, gets in the cracks. You don't want that. Also, you know, being older is not the same anymore. It, it's me. like pe women who are in their 40s, as I am, uh, 50s, 60s, don't... In your 40s? Yeah. Um, do you use? Um, we don't, oh, we done your bathroom. I did see some of that. Yeah, that was quite a while ago, wasn't it? We um, want to watch that one right now. <laughs> it would have all changed now. <laughs> um, I, I think women now, whether in their 40s, 50s, 60s or whatever, their aesthetic, the stuff they're into, they want to be cool too. They're not, you know, when I was growing up, yeah. the moment you hit 45, you had your hair cut short. You, oh, you know, you changed how you yes. dress, but that's just never happens anymore. People I think it's, develop their style. They don't change it. I think it's a lifestyle as opposed to an age mindset, right? It's a mindset, yeah. not an age yeah. stamp. And I think I feel the same in fashion as I do in beauty. I'll be I'll be fifty wearing these jumpsuits probably, and um, it is, it's a lifestyle. And that's what milk makeup is. We found that <laughs> like sixteen year old, we were very millennial. Like we knew that was happening, but once we started launching full of face like these foundations, sixty five, we have a lot of customers, and I notice a lot of this. I like to call it um, passing up instead of passing down. Because like these mums are seeing their kids with this line. And they're almost like, oh, you know, that's super cool. And then they, their kids are basically inspiring the parents mm -hmm. um, into what to buy. And I think there's a lot more of that happening now. So where are you over here? You're in Sephora. Sephora and Urban Outfitters. Um, so and then your own little... We have milkmakeup.com. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, we've gone from 50 Sephoras to 200 in 18 months. They're amazing partner, I have to say. They've been incredible, because we are, for all we know, we know what we don't know. And they have been such a guiding light. Like, it's, it's the gold standard beauty, right, to get yeah. into Sephora. And yeah. even when I moved out, I was like, I remember going to that meeting, oh my gosh, we didn't even have a product. We just had an idea. Did you have drawings? Or yeah, what? I mean, we knew exactly, but we didn't actually have a physical product. Um, we went to Sephora in San Fran. <laughs> we were just like, and this is it. And then it was all like fizzle reels and ideas and really high energy conversation. They're like, we'll take it if you can make the product that you're promising. So that's when we found Diana Ruth, who is um, also a co-founder who came in and she's just like the mad scientist. Amazing. Yeah, it's fun. So what else do you have in here? Um, these, oh, well, apart from all my milk, I mean, this is the great blur foundation if you want a fuller face. Oh, yeah, so last time fun. I came, you didn't have a foundation, you just had like a lovely tint. It's we like had the a, tint, which yes, I use right, on the Yes, right, you had that. It, which is sunshine skin tint, which is based on the skin oil with just a tint in it. Right. This is our fuller face foundation. I mean, a little goes a really long way. Um, I mean, look at that. It's like full Yeah, on. it's dense. It's a YouTuber's face. <laughs> but this is our, I love this little <laughs> silicone applicator as well, but it definitely goes yeah it's loads of coverage an awful long way but again it's um all the good stuff none of the bad so to have something that's so smooth without um nice silicone in it i mean you don't need that at all they um the one thing i love is the blur stick and i'm talking about all the other things um so this is our hydrating oil which i just use on split ends douse it on my face at night 
But if you've got, so I'm just doing this as a demo, so you've got all that oil, mm -hmm. you can see that. So this is the blur stick, it's basically a primer mattifier. So you can see how it works by just cancelling out, let me see. So yeah, it cuts it through. Basically just cuts through the oil. Yeah. They put an awful lot on there. So what's this? So this is oil and like hyaluronic, presumably, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just nice hydrating, super hydrating. That, just, that feels lovely. It's nice, right? And then you just pop it and just have. So how are you doing that stick. without silicon? I know you're not the scientist. I'm just being. I, lazy. I'm not. It's. Um, no, I know this. It's um, blurring. Well, Diana calls them blurring microspheres. They're basically powder filled, so they pop on, on when nice. they hit the skin, and then they just. They sit on top. I mean, I, I love that hydrating skid stick. I'm going to get that. So you look at that. Oh, um, yeah. And if you, yeah, so that's the hydrating stick now. And if you just rub that over, it just mattifies the entire hat. It's crazy. This is one of our best sellers now. I mean, look at that difference. Um, that one, I'd give you that one, but I've been using it. But I'm definitely going to get that one. <laughs> Um, and then I'm at a lot, you know, and I love foundations, like finding the perfect one to me. Is that your thing? So I was saying to somebody yesterday that every woman has the thing that she just buys over and mm -hmm. over and over again, always thinking, I will find the ultimate, I will find the ultimate. Um, so for me, it's what concealer. Concealer. Concealer and foundation. So base things I'm obsessed with. You have to try out. And the perfect concealer. rose lipstick. Oh, there you go. Speaking of, that was just <laughs> being discontinued, actually, which I'm, sh I'm so sad about because I do love it. Um, the concealer is perfect for you. This is Flex Concealer. It actually moves with your skin. So it's like um, Band-Aid technology, as they say here. Uh, but that, my friend, is perfect for you. Cool. Um, so my thing would be lip balms. I'm eternally on the research for that. Yeah. And foundations, because I don't want to look like I'm wearing a bunch of makeup, but I, I do want that highlight and, you know, those, those, the definition to the difference between having a good skin and not. I mean, it's the biggest real estate. Biggest real estate. On the there face, isn't it? So you want it to look nice. Oh my gosh. This one I'm, I love, and Steeler discontinued it. Steeler, if you're listening, please redo it, because I had to buy this on eBay. Um, is that the illuminating yes. one? Yeah, it's such a brilliant foundation. Why did they stop this? It's always been brilliant, that foundation. It was pretty much the first light reflecting foundation that came out years and years and years ago. I didn't know they discontinued so, it. This is a brand here. Yeah, I'm into K-Beauty as well. I'm discovering a lot about that. So this is, um, this is again, massively high coverage. It's too much for so me. Are you oh, finding sorry, that, <laughs> are you just finding that the influence of K-Beauty on the market is just massive now. Huge. Yeah. Huge. I mean, but there's something about, I think even though, like, we feel quite Asian inspired in that way. It's very clean, very Japanese, very Muji esque. You know, our first products were always based on pens and art supplies. Uh, like, we started with, uh, like, the whole thing was inspired by the Milk Studios pen. I don't know if you've ever oh. seen it. It looks just like this probably got one lying around. Everyone loves stationery. And it's it's exactly. And then we actually had a marker, eye marker, when we first launched, and a lip marker, which were amazing. But people were just really struggling to figure out how to use it. Mm -hmm. So that's the danger when you're launching a line like this. You want to have innovative packaging and unique, but then you really have to help the customer. Right. Like you have to educate around it. And I think we were such a new brand with all these really quirky things. And Look at it, it's so like, cool, it's so cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, what do I do with it? Oh. Do do? Yeah, well, write a phone number down with it in case. Oh, I love my Charlotte. I love her eyeliners. I'm really into these. I don't know. I, and the lips, oh, it's a lip one. I, um, I, mean, her stuff I use so Pillow good. Talk lip every day, oh. pretty much. It's pretty much every such day. Such a good product. She's done an amazing, and we laugh together. It's, it's You know what's so nice about now? It, there's so many of us in the industry and we're all really good friends and we've all worked together for so, so long. Pat McGrath, I mean, it's really satisfying to look to it all sit there and yabber on and gossip about it. And I mean, she really, uh, Pat McGrath's a genius. Absolutely oh, genius. Incredible. It's amazing that um, she's become so widely recognised outside of the industry uh -huh. now as such an important oh, figure. Yeah. I mean, That's a good colour for you. That is a good colour, it's quite dark. Oh, this was the one I was telling you, so this is really old. This is probably the first one. When we started creating, you know, we're talking about the glossy eye. So we now do this in three shades, but this was kind of one of the early days. See, these have all been really well worn, which is encouraging. So you are obviously walking the walk as well as 
oh, selling this stuff. Yeah, so I mean, it's you're using it. <laughs> you're using it constantly. And obviously, I pulled in some freshies, but yeah, I mean, most of it in my to-go makeup bag is just complete. Like these, I cannot live without. That that. Oh, the brow pencil is also top. Oh, these are great. Have you try these Marc Jacob ones. Yes, <gasps> the gel ones. Glide on. Yeah, so they are well. good. They are good. I'm really into that. This is just like. Do you do blue? I'm I do navy. Navy. I'm trying to, uh, I think, you know, it's always that myth about contrasting your eyeliner to your eye colour, but there's something also that I'm bold as just brown and brown, right? Yeah, or blue I and just blue. hate colour rules. I hate, hate rules, too. Yeah, me? yeah. So you've just done a makeup show, correct? Or a <gasps> beauty show? I did. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It was the most intense. Uh, it's called Glam Masters. We shot it in September in LA. Um, we were, it's produced by Kim Kardashian West. And um, Mario Dedovanovic is, Makeup by Mario is um, one of the judges. Myself and Candy Johnson, who's a huge YouTube sensation, just love. And Laverne Cox is the host. It's kind of like, um, it's not Project Runway. It's, uh, do, you have, do you have the show Chopped? In no, the I don't think so. It's like a fast format beauty show. So it's a fresh crop of contestants every week, so there's no one like carries on, but there's very quick beauty challenges, um, which we set every every challenge. So it's like themed. little tasks, and then they're competing against and one another. competing, it's four in each one, and then we narrow it down to the finals. Um, but it was so much fun, we all learned so much. I mean, I was basically met these people, like being mic'd up for the first one. And this, this show's been in the works for a long, long time, and. I just didn't think I'd be lucky enough to do it actually and I got the call, I was just so happy. Um, and we worked, you know, 17 hour days filming, it's intense. That was a really, because they shot the whole thing in three weeks. Um, but so much fun. And you so that's launching in spring? Launches on February 28th on Lifetime. Um, and it was, you know, working with somebody like Candy who's so into that influencer space, right? And then working with Mario, who's an incredible makeup artist. Like he dispenses tips all day long on the show. And I think that's what it's about to our point earlier. It's not just opinion. It's not drama. It's like, how People can a girl at home entire. be like, oh yeah, that's how you do that eyeliner. And you just lean it on the soft surface, on the steady surface, and you're gonna be able to get it cleaner. Like just little nuggets like that throughout and it's like it makes it really good fun I think for the viewer. How long does it take you to get ready? Me? Mm -hmm. Six like six minutes, not even that. Makeup. Because wine? of the kids? Because of the kids and I've now created this whole thing about getting ready in the back of a car, which I do these yes, videos. Yes, I do this constantly. <laughs> and it's but using the sticks and I've started I did this quick Xana quick tricks. You know, when you stick something on Instagram, you're like, Oh, that means it's real life and I do it in uh, time lapse. The first one got, um, I don't know how it got picked up, but it had 6 million views by the time I looked back at it. <laughs> what Slightly popular then. On earth just happened. But I realised I hit on something, because it's we all do it. I mean, Everyone does it. Like, really? I, whenever I get on the train now, women are just sitting there doing their makeup, because people are too beauty. busy. Yeah. Commuter beauty. And yeah. to, um, Drew Barrymore coined that phrase, commuter beauty, and she does it really well. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's reality, isn't it now? People have too much stuff going on. So what, how do you look after your skin? Are you somebody who is quite diligent about looking mm. after your skin? Okay, that sounds like not so much. Not so much. I wish I was. I really, I mean, I try everything. Do I stick to anything? No, I'm a little bit flaky. I'm like, oh, this works today. Because you can't be monogamous because you're such a product junkie. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You put the words into my mouth. Yeah. Thank you for making me sound a little less like a, a product whore. <laughs> Um, but you know, as I said, I can go, I'm, I'm still a fake time queen and I'm from Manchester. Come on, you gotta let me off that one. <laughs> um, but then, you know, this is, oh, actually, have you seen this line? I love Nailing. this. I love it. Love so, it. Oh, there's comes love the cleanse. Cleanse. This is going to be hilarious. This, the blue, I, this is when I'm really rough at, in an evening or at night. I'll sleep with this all over. Doesn't matter where it goes. Are you dry? So dry. Yeah, same. But then also something for the evening skincare, Sunday Riley. This blue oil, I'm into blue things, clearly. Yeah. Look at this. So we tried this. Yeah. I mean, it's so much fun. It just makes me smile when I put it on my face at night. You make me laugh, you're a total beauty consumer as well, oh, aren't you? Completely. <laughs> I don't think you can, if I stopped, it'd be, 
It's just so important to know what's out there as well. But it's also important still to love it. I always think this. It's like I get sent so much stuff and like 10 jiffy bags will arrive in the morning every single day except Sunday. And I think mm. if you, I think if you open up those jiffy bags and you have stopped going, <gasps> right. then you shouldn't right. do the job. You're so right. Because if you don't see the new Chanel nail polish and go, I need to see what colour yeah. it is, yeah. then you shouldn't be doing it. Do you think it's still the same? No, I think because this whole influencer world, like when we were doing it, it was only beauty editors. Like we were the only people talking about this, really. And, and I just hope that that doesn't die, that excitement, because it's so important. And I just, you I, know. I just think there's so much engagement now with real women who just love beauty and they can, they can kind of communicate their enthusiasm back at us. And I, I do think it all kind of feeds off everything else. So if anything, I think people love beauty more now yeah. than, when, than when I was coming up, where you would just be kind of. Well, that's it. There's only us chatting about it, yeah. right? And it's. Nerds. Nerds, and it didn't feel as approachable. That now it's something that everyone can do at home and make a massive difference to their to their lives. I yeah, think. Yeah, and, right? and as well, I think you know people like Pat McGrath deserve a lot of credit for that because what Pat McGrath has done is she's opened up this nerdy world. It's, she's done a sort of call to action for nerds everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there mm -hmm. are all these kind of freaks, geeks, makeup obsessive, budding makeup artists all over the world who follow her and they and she regrams their pictures yeah. and they you know, and they all influence each other and I think that's quite amazing really. And I think that's why her reach has been so important. There's nothing better for me when someone tags me in one of their photos. Yeah. Um like exactly. so you have this tagline, live your look and when anyone does it, I'm just over. I will pull exactly. her over those pictures at night. It's so nice, so yeah. satisfying. Yeah, it's completely satisfying. Um, so, like you say, you you look after your skin, but you don't really stick to stuff because you're you're on to the next. On to the next. I mean, this one I'm trying to give a go. So, have you tried Cat Berkey? Yes, I haven't tried that product, but I've tried other things. Uh, that was great. And then, um, yes, yeah, Sunday Rally. So you're a, a retinol fan. person. I just tried this. My dermatologist. I have not tried. This. Um, it's very, very low dose. I've never used it before after all my years in beauty. You've never used retinol until mm. recently? Oh, I've it. good um, And then, what else do we have? Um, oh, these are, that's our MAC cleanser and toner. So, solid cleansers and toners. So this is a really popular product, this isn't it? This is great. I mean, you can like, this is TSA friendly as well. And this is one of those things that come from you know, always traveling around, having to decant things or buy the minis that just don't feel substantial. Also, a mini of cleanser doesn't last you a whole holiday. No way. A mini of, no of cleansing lotion. No, By it's the time you exactly. Do a dollar, you're, it's not. Especially when you're like coming in the evening and it's a little bit here and there. So, what are you doing with this? You're wetting it and then kind of. Buffing it out, yeah, the cleanser, pop on, then rub some water on it, foams, then you just clean off, it just leaves you squeaky clean. It's got little exfoliating oh, beads nice. in it, matcha. Um, and they, that really just leaves you with this, a nice crispy surface. And then the toner, I've never liked toner because I am dry, but actually we all know we should use it even though you're dry. But this is great, it doesn't leave you like the, uh, that tight. It's got matcha in it, which obviously there's this huge moment for like ingredients like matcha right now. We love our matcha tea, latte. Now we pop it on our skin. Are you a health freak with food? No, Are you really terrible. engaged? No. So, okay. no. Yeah. You're one of us, you're not a problem. Well, it's funny because <laughs> my um, co founder Georgie is she's like the white witch as well. She's like a, in, really into you know, she actually got me onto Nay. Um, she's she's much more creative and like kind of spiritual in that way. And it, but it's a good combination because I'm like, really, you know, I'm like the quick trick girl. If it works, it works. Yeah, it's good though to have somebody going, a real woman wouldn't do that. A real woman doesn't have time. Exactly. For that exactly. Yvelom, I love. I always have. I remember Since having you? a facial way back with Yvelom. Me too. Oh, they were the best facials, weren't they? The I don't best. Know how often she still does. I'm amazing. It, it, and it's just, and it, for my skin, just the dryness. That I mean, I'm obsessed. I, this is, I mean, and this is a good mess because it's clear, so you can actually walk around the, the house in it and not look like a total freak and scare the children. This is interesting too, I'm kind of liking it because it's lightweight and I've got quite sensitive skin. And I love, I love Hydra Beauty, it's a bit of an old favourite of mine. It just makes you glow and look plumper. Is that what it is? I didn't even realise. Oh my gosh, look at me, I like it plated. <laughs> um, this, oh this is, this. I mean I don't mind saying because my hair is having a really bad time. I don't know if it's because I just came off. How often do you have to colour it? 
six weeks. I've stopped doing my, I've stopped bleaching it though because it it's really like broken right now, which is sad. But these things happen when you're putting you know, fine blonde hair through so, for years. And I think doing this show was the final straw like, every yeah, day. Just gave up on you. Just gave up. Um, like, so now I'm on these. Apparently amazing. Are they supplements? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, ingestibles are massive, aren't they, at the moment? Everyone's yes. taking those ingestibles for beauty. I'll let you know how that works out. And speaking of hair growth, I'm on this one too. <laughs> the lashes. I think they're All my over secrets. Here. I think they're better over here you than they are in Britain. I don't think the British ones are as good because I think it's something to do with regulations. Right, that would make sense. Baraka, I mean, who doesn't love it? They don't have the same as the UK here. Oh, really? Which is actually something interesting. Because it's one product that's stronger in the UK than it is here. Wow. So my British friends bring me that. All the what else do you buy in Britain when you come home? Um, Maltesers, <laughs> uh, Baraka, Grazia, Beauty Wise. Do I even get them? Oh, I tell you what I got actually. It was a new tan oil um, from my lovely friends at Beauty Scene. And um, Anna Marie has it at Beauty Mart as well, I believe. Um, ah, what's it called? It's in my tanning drawer, hang on. My tanning drawer, no, I love this that. Is, it's, I'm literally such a girl from Manchester. And I remember I used to work with Nicola Moulton, so every Friday night, Friday day in the office of Mary Klein, by the way, I was like 25, 24 maybe, Friday night, going out with the girls to the pub to drink lots of white wine and eat some crisps. <laughs> and she'd be like, I'd just always walk in, she'd be like, Smells like Friday. <laughs> Meaning. So you smelled of biscuits and damp dog. Biscuit every day. Yeah. And it was always Saint Tropez. And Sophie used to always spray me every day. They did used to stink back then, fake tans, didn't they? They're a lot better now. But in um, those days, you could smell it a mile off, couldn't you? Well, but to me, it's like Elnet. I'm not a fake tanner, but Elnet has that effect on me. To me, Elnet smells like good times. Oh, it's the best. It smells like girls on the Raz. Girls it on the Raz. It smells like fun. And a bit me. of backstage. Like, it's like, it reminds me of being younger and like running yeah. around doing all that stuff, yeah. for sure. It's actually funny, I remember being in Rossi and we went on our first trip together to Hawaii. And the smell obviously wore off, but every time he'd seen me, I'd had fake tan up. He's like, what's that smell gone? And I was like, what do you mean? He said, I said, do you mean my fake tan? He's like, oh no, I actually thought I'm still having that smell. Was, I was like, you must so really you like me. Like, I know, bless. <laughs> you thought you actually just smelled of old biscuits. <laughs> Uh, oh, speaking of hair. Oh, yeah, the smell like this that. It's is... Hawaiian Tropic Oil, isn't it? That just oh makes me think of fun holidays. Fun holidays. This one, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. This I got from the UK because it's not here yet. I couldn't get it here. You must be getting it too. Let's uh, Porto sell it in the that's UK. That's where so I'm able to get it. This smells so good. It was Lynn Harris that did the smell. It was? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. So well this done, is Sam, Sam. Night. Thank you. So I, uh, I've got Cool Girl in my hair now, and that's the dry shampoo, Lazy Girl, and then there's a hairspray. They're all brilliant. Really, just the three products, right? Yeah, but I the like that. I like small. So nice as well. It's gorgeous. And it does smell like, I think I had it on the other day, and someone's like, oh, you smell delicious and fresh. But it's, it's like, like perfume. Let me smell. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's really but nice. it's Lynn Harris who did the smell. And I think I'm right in saying that it's based on the flowers in Sam's garden. Really? Because you know he's obsessed with his garden. I think it's what based on the smell of his garden. I mean, if you can get a bit of salmon at night in a can, I'll take it. Yeah. Without doubt. Oh, oh, this is the other one I'm using for my hair regrowth situation. Christoph Robin. Yeah, see that's come up a lot since oh, we've been here. So good. So good. And it's all completely natural. There's prickly pear in this one. This is lavender. It's great. It's so, so good. Well, this seems to be quite hopefully. a big thing over here, the Christoph Robin, because it's come up, I think, in all the bathrooms we fill. Really? In. Yeah. That's People good to know it. because he's, he's in love and his products are amazing. Oh, that was the lavender one, hair mask with lemon. So I've got, I've basically got a prescription for my hair right now. I'm supposed to be following. You know, you know how that goes. I love the tanning area. <laughs> it cracks me up. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't often see that in this day and age. You don't, and it's probably pretty embarrassing, but whatever. It's me. Yeah, but and that's your look, isn't it? Do you think that's important to just kind of know yourself? Oh yes. I mean, if you know what looks, and I just look better. I look more alive. I feel. A little, I mean, I don't go orange, orange, but I'm pretty pasty. And it's nice to just have that little bit of a, it. There's something about it, it's like an inner glow. I almost get with it because I don't go too over the top. 
Um, yeah, I love it. They've always got a little bit of a shine to it, so it just makes you feel a bit more alive. Do you love getting ready with the girls? I feel like you're the kind of person who probably does. I love getting ready with the girls. They'll come yeah. in here. They love these sticks. They love playing with them. I turned around yeah, recently yeah. and Rumi was just like pasted with this all over. You know what? All really good for your ingredients. So yeah, I don't exactly. panic at all. If you feel good about what goes in them, then you won't mind. Exactly. So, so perfume, you wear Stella? Oh, I have worn Stella for since probably, yeah, 2001. Yeah, I mean, it would have been round about when it launched. When it I remember launched. it launching at the British Museum. There I you go. <gasps> I remember that. Well, maybe that was McQueen, but anyway, I remember it. Beauty Edwards is the best job. Yeah, it's it fun. It really is the best. If I was to come back again, I think I'd come back as Beauty Editor. Maybe that. <laughs> You've done it. I've That's done it. No, Stella Rose, the original. I mean, I've tried the peony, but it's not quite there. This one, oh, actually, this was a gift from Mario from the show. He got me um, the Tom Ford, because he always wears it. This is a great unisex. Did you totally bond? Did you come out with new friends? Three, three amazing new friends made so fast, but when you're in something so intense, you're either going to go one way or the other. If you don't like these people, it's going to be hell. If you get on and you have this great bond, you all really respect each other's opinions and where we were coming from. It was amazing. I never really, it was kind of overwhelming how well we got on. Tell me about being on camera. How old are you? 38. Okay, you're 38. So we, it's changing a little bit, but we work in an industry that's obsessed with youth, where there mm -hmm. are loads of super young models around and super young presenters and people mm -hmm. and influencers and stuff on Instagram. When you see yourself on camera, do you like what you see? Um, after I've had the fake tan and the treatments, yeah. <laughs> no, it's that's good. It's, I, mean, that's, I, I have that's to feel good. Answer. I have to feel, I, honestly, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I hate my voice still on camera, but when I see, yeah, I mean, obviously there's now times I look at even pictures or if you've got your phone down like that, or I see certain angles when I watch myself on e-news and there's like, oh, that wasn't, didn't used to be there, or oh, I didn't realise my nose was that big from the side, and there's, there's definitely... It's not. Well, it's not, it, but it, yeah. it does grow, grow right? It does Apparently your nose and yeah, your ears, and your ears continue to grow. Which I'm screwed because they were really big to start with. See, I had mine chopped off when I was in my 20s. You did? I used to have really, really big earlobes. The lobes? In my 20s I had them. No. Yes, my only plastic surgery I've had. They were so well done as well. Yeah, they were pretty well done. I, I had them done when I was about 23. Wow, I'm really impressed because mm. mine, mine are just sticky out. So look, I had these new ear I had a new hold on the other day because I launched this earring line in a collaboration with Bubble Bar. So we had this really fun party at Milk in the bar. Basically, just invited all my girlfriends. We got really drunk and had a piercing party. Nothing. So there we go. Nothing, nothing could go wrong. I've only had 14 nothing. calls about. No, I'm really right. But um, yeah. So you do notice things that. Do Definitely you, weren't like that. Do you before. worry that young women don't like how they look enough these days? I do, and I worry that there's so much we get used to seeing this um, completely retouched, false version, and people say that this is normally how they look, and then even the no makeup makeup looks. That's not true. No one looks like that. We really genuinely hashtag took a picture. No filter, hashtag makeup free selfie. I'm like oh. hashtag nonsense. Yeah. That was in the perfect light. If you yeah. really walked away from that, and that's fine to put it out there, but I do think there's an added pressure on, on young girls particularly to look like this great. You know, I see my young nieces and I see them doing the Instagram poses and I see the. Uh, I, I know, mean, I'm yeah. guilty of it too. You know, I walk around Instagram and my kids are very familiar with me having a phone in my hand or taking pictures of them and I feel that they're going to be of the generation that actually hate it. I feel like they're going to have a Do total you, backlash. Do you think there'll be a backlash? I think they're going to hate me. They'll probably sue me for using their likeness <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> they're going to have those offshoot Instagram private accounts. I think that's already happening. I, 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 there has to be some. I mean, it's exploding. There's such so much out there. Do you worry sometimes i'm a mum too and you have daughters which i think makes it even more relevant do you ever do you ever think about them when you're working in beauty do you ever think is that am i part of an industry that will make them feel better or worse how can i make young women feel better how, where does that sit for you that particularly with milk makeup that sits that's so part of who we are and what we do um it's about accepting who you are. It's not about trying to cover up anything. It's about, it was always built upon self-expression. And we will have 
the craziest parties with the craziest people and it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what sex, gender you are and it's always been about blurring those lines. Male, female, trans, black, white, 60, 16 and that was what, you know, it was live your look came from that. It was like this hashtag that we started was live your look and it's not about how you create, it's not about how you put on the makeup, it's just about the look that you feel best in. Yeah, and it, and it's not it's not about beauty being a bad thing. It's about beauty needing to have broader definitions. Exactly. You know, exactly. beauty is a really positive thing. What's not positive is one kind of beauty. Exactly. So that preened perfection that not all of us can get and 1% of the population can be. Um, so absolutely, it's about how we perceive beauty and perceiving it in a new way. A little pause there while we were joined by two very special guests. <laughs> so we've got Zana's children who have just... Uh, say hi guys. Really, I like your hiding place. So this is Rumi and Juno, uh, twins, who we just had when we launched more makeup. Oh, well, so nice and easy that was, then. That was super, nice super easy. easy. Working yeah. with your husband, having twins. Yeah. Um, launching a new business was great, great times. <laughs> yeah. I suppose, you know, we didn't get divorced. No, we That's actually funny. made us very, very strong. It's been it's been an amazing roller coaster. And these girls love their sticks, right? I love them. You want to use it? I catch them in here all the time, just applying sticks to their face. But I mean, it should be fun. It should, it should be fun. Like, it, so, it seems like the fun element is really important to you. So what's... what's Next, have you got even bigger plans? Well, bringing no makeup to the UK, very, very important. Um, and just expanding and honing and, you know, yeah, it's important to market and scale, but it's also important to just bring really innovative, cool, useful products. They really help us. Like this. Yes, Bubba, what do you want to Hmm? You want to sit in the sink? You want to sit in the sink? They're so sit not shy, you do. This is hilarious. Oh, man down. Okay, well, before the girls trash the beautifully arranged bathroom, let's I'm sign off. What an absolute room. pleasure. I'm so glad that you had us round. You're just like the perfect in the bathroom with guests. You are a s heaven sent. Thank you so much. For oh, thank you for caring you about my makeup. I can't believe I it's knew It's such a great brand. I'm super excited for it to come to the UK. Genuinely, I'm really, really excited, and I think you've done a beautiful job on it. And just thanks for being a guest. You've been the perfect bathroom guest. Anytime so you can come back over, I'm going to come and do yours in your bathroom. Cool. That. Do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. This is part two. If you missed part one, go back. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.